Hello and welcome back to Ruzu. And yeah, you see in the background some fast moving images, uh, also known as time lapse, which is for the first uh, three and a half minutes into this episode. As I promised, this will be uh, again a little bit of an improvement that you guys have been asking for. I did a little bit of um, fixing of some issues we had here, or well, not issues, but this kind of stuff I basically would not do in an episode because it kind of takes away from the idea of the franchise, which is actually about managing and um, having animals, you know, to care for. Uh, however, in this episode, from you have seen this potentially from the uh, thumbnail, we are going to work around ourselves, or we work around Chinese pangolins, and uh, this will be a lot more building than, than caring for the actual animal, but uh, I, I found it interesting interesting to integrate this little time lapse here because um, this will be again a little bit of a blueprint how we will potentially do it in the future. There will be not that many Ruzu episodes a week than they have been right now. I just simply cannot keep up with the speed but therefore I will integrate a bit more time lapse or sometimes I do it episode based as uh, for example Mike Sheets does it so that we uh, only see a few more updates I did and I just gonna talk you through them before we then cut into the actual episode. But you can see I was testing a few things already here and there to make um, this area already looked a bit more finished. I felt like we need some more rocks here. I'm not entirely happy with how it looks. Um, we saw some camels mating. We have also some baby camels now. I will totally go over them in the episode, so totally sorry about that. We will focus on them later on. Mm. And then we start actually finally ripping up the old part of the zoo and relocating assets. This is what you guys have been asking for the most, and so I was willing to do this, and uh, yeah, here we go. I am starting to rip stuff away and moving stuff and uh, kind of uh, taking care of some animals. We will get rid here of uh, a lot of these African wild dogs because simply they were just breeding the hell out of it and I wanted to just get rid of it. Um, yeah, we also took care of the hyenas so that they stopped fighting each other, which uh, is a very important bit here. Uh, just to make sure that we do have it done as well. Yeah, then I was getting a new mate uh, for our uh, existing uh, hyena and uh, was powering this area a bit. So yeah, we are we are slowly moving towards a more successful area again. Um, we have a little bit of a struggle to make money, I have to admit. Uh, mainly because uh, many people left the zoo because I was ripping so much apart and it seems to be refunds being a thing again. I also uh, sold our bongos and then, yeah, the last bit that has to go is the flamingo habitat will have to go uh, completely and it will be exchanged with what is going to be a dark house uh, or a night house if you will. Yes, I know we don't have that many animals, but uh, it's, it's still featuring some night animals, which I hope will be interesting enough to look at. And then finally, after many, many, many annoying uh, elements of escaping, I uh, finally raised this little uh, exhibit perimeter there a bit more, the barrier, so to make sure that <laughs> our crocs are not escaping all the time. Yeah, well then, this is already the end of the time lapse, uh, so to say. I'm just preparing for what is happening in the real time part today. So I hope you guys enjoy this. And a little hint for you out there. Tomorrow there is the uh, Jurassic World Evolution Dr Return to Jurassic Park DLC. This might be the longest name for a game ever. Uh, but yeah, I um, am very curious to hopefully get the game very, very early on um, and download it. And tomorrow we will have some fun with this one. So stay tuned uh, for that. And I'm going to stream maybe in the evening as well if everything runs as planned. So see you now in the lifetime part. Here we go guys, we are just managed to be back for the real time part and I need to cut off a little bit of the pathway over here uh, because obviously we don't want the people to go in the other side of the park so oh, they just already uh, went. So you guys have seen in the wonderful, uh, thank you for the research, uh, is there anyone without a ticket? No, not yet. Okay, so you've seen in the uh, speed build part that I've been already preparing something over here which is hopefully going to be very exciting uh, once it's done and I am planning to do this as a uh, time-lapse episode and also bring parts of it at least into my Yosemite Valley but uh, I have talked about this quite a bit already in the uh, time-lapse part I hope at least because I will record that later um, let me just bring this all down as much as we can and um, also we can make some of these things uh, already kind of uh, nicer looking by okay I can, cannot even there we go I deleted it and give me the glass and then just okay let's let's put it a bit longer 
glass and okay we have to do it that way and then it works cool so yeah that's kind of cool now we have the door which is working in here pretty nicely indeed um, I'm wondering a little bit how and why we are losing that much money all of a sudden again um, because we were actually making some some dope money I'm um, I think people are leaving the zoo at the moment I don't really know what exactly is going on I, I, I just opened it um, the back part of the park I just reopened again uh, to make sure that we are making any money um, hopefully the animals are not getting uh, too much uh, boring for them I I did some little things and tweaks and stuff here and there you know just to make sure that we um, have our foundation for the future and what I'm going to do now here is and I have got stored animals uh, that we are going to use and we're going to use the Chinese pangolin and we have okay let me just check quickly the zoopedia on those um because i all of a sudden have no clue um so the male up to three males up to three females one two male bachelor one two one two um that means dominance non female bachelor group size one two three so they seem to get along pretty nicely indeed so can we have two males then um me confused let's see what do we have i think we have like uh, this female, this male, and okay, never mind. I'm going to move them in here, uh, all of them, to see if this habitat actually works. Although I'm, I'm not even sure if it will work, but yeah, we're gonna see. And we're gonna put the last one in as well. This is going to be moving here. Not sure if, if the space is enough, but I really do hope that it is enough. Um, also, what I wanted to do quickly is to connect the staff path right over to the back here, which for whatever reason we cannot do. Uh, that is that is interesting. So is that because of the, the, the gate? I wonder. Because I definitely want to give them access here to, to this area. I uh, don't want them to, to run all over the... Okay, well, they are running all over the park right now, but uh, I'm just w willing to see if this little baby here is is living happy ever after in here, because we're taking care of this habitat today. Oh yeah, well, that will be... God, this might even be way too big. Uh, maybe we can even even scrap that a little bit. Um, it's nearly double the size. I not even sure if I want to um, do it that way. Okay, so what we what we are going to do? Obviously, we are going to make this habitat now as nice as possible for our friends here. God, they are lovely. They are lovely. Um, so yeah, we are going to make them a nice habitat first of all i'm going to start with the terrain work are we doing any money I'm, I'm not sure if we are doing any money uh at this moment but uh yeah we, we are going to see in a bit uh what is going to happen with the money okay we have to lower down the intensity i want to make this like really a bit desert-ish looking um and then obviously that is the, the clue about this one will be that this will be within a building so it's gonna be a night house so to say uh because these animals tend to live in uh the dark and this is why we're going to give them the living space in the dark which is hopefully helping them to enjoy their stuff so um like a lot of soil though right okay so we are going to do this um i, I was hoping they would want to have more sand but okay, um, definitely they want to have way less of the, the short grass and way more uh, soil. What we're going to do, we're going to just make this, this habitat completely full of soil now. Uh, that's what they want, obviously. We're going to give them this. Uh, and we, you know, we, we will also mix some, some other soil in uh, in the end. Okay, so now as we've, as we've done this, uh, we, can, we can get in with some sand as well. And we're going to put that sand down here. Uh, they don't really need any water, do, do they? I, I just don't want to give them any water if they don't like it anyway. So, uh, yeah, let's also just paint some smooth rock in. Because they, they, are, they like some rocks, so we, we can also do this. Uh, making the habitat a bit uh, nicer looking. And uh, just a bit more variation in the terrain. Because like that's what we have to work with, right? We have to work with the with the terrain variation that the game offers us and so I want to just highlighting uh, some of the areas so we can also get on, on the on the peaks here which uh, we have here I, I you know what I, I just want to be a bit darker on the peaks that kind of highlights them even nicer so they they get some shadows yeah here we go that's kind of what we were looking for okay so that's it um what kind of um they're pretty nicely hidden indeed here right God, look at how small they are. I wonder though um, if we want to keep it that big anyways. Because I was planning to maybe get some artworks in as well. 
Um, so here's me. Okay, well, maybe, maybe we are going to, maybe we're going to split this habitat in two, which could be the best idea. And I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to do this right now because I, I almost feel like that's a good idea. Now, um, okay, this is not put to any roundish situation. Let's let's do it that way, and then. Um, yeah, well, I think, yeah, size-wise, that should be fine. We can do it this way. And if I'm allowed to put a door in here now, okay, I, I want to make sure that this door is somewhat connected. I, I, there was the chance to connect it here, right? Yeah, 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 come on, do it. I saw that. Here we go. Let's connect this one over here. So we have two habitats, right? Is that still big enough for our little, little guys here? Um, let's see. So space is still very sufficient. That is amazing um, because yeah, I think I, I feel I feel a lot more happy with this. The only question is, can we bring artworks in here that they are happy with the space given? Um, first of all, let's get some artworks in to to make sure that this works. Do we have them in here? I'm not even sure if we have some artworks already. It doesn't seem like. Okay, we're going to go to the animal market and also. We have to check, uh, de-check the species here. Spotted hyena, de-filter. Come on, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Come on, I don't have any filter. Okay, there we go. This is how it works. And then I'm uh, just checking only cash listings at this point in time, please. Um, go away filter and just cash listings. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Um, just want to check what kind of animals we have in here anyways right now. So let's see. A lot of peafowls though. I don't want to have any peafowls. Okay, springbok, uh, common ostrich. We don't want to have this. That's all? No, it's not. Okay. Uh, oh, another zebra. Zebra, what about your stats? Hello? God, why is it that leggy? Oh, oh, that's a nice one. How old are you? Oh, God, I'm gonna adopt this quickly. Um, hmm. Oh, whatever. Okay, let's see what's, what else in here. Another zebra. Wow, so, so many zebras. Come on, show. Okay, no. These stats are not as good as the other ones. Okapi. Okapi. Oh, nice stats indeed. Uh, what are we going to What about this pangolin there over here? Let me see. Let me see. Okay, not, 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 not good at all. Uh, tape here. Okay, I don't want to. I don't want to. Yeah, okay. We check this one first. Let's do that, please. Okay, well, we are going to go and we're going to click now for the artwork, which is basically the first animal. <laughs> Good. Okay, that's awesome. Let's see which one of those is the best one in here. Um, hello. Can is someone of you... Okay, you are by far the best one. Immunity, I don't care about that. Okay, success. Refresh the list. I want to see if... We are not going to change by gender. Okay, so... Let's go for a female one, filter, and we're gonna defilter this one. There we go, that's basically it. And now, okay, I don't really question why this one is in here, right? I shouldn't, okay? That makes sense. Oh, does it? I mean, this one is... Fertility-wise, that one is better, but the rest of the stats in here is way better. This one is awesome. Uh, okay, but it's okay. Yeah, well, no, um, that makes no sense at all. Um, do we get this one or that one? I almost feel like that one is better. 5.6 years. Yeah, let's adopt that one. Okay, cool. We're going to move this in here. And we're going to move uh, the male one in here as well. The Lutalo. Lutalo is getting in with us as well. Okay, quickly do this. Um, I'm going to quickly wait until the animals are in. The vet research is done. Awesome. Uh, let me just check what is going on. Mechanic research is complete as well. I'm just researching there to just get everything full gold. I, that, that's all. That's all. I'm not even doing any more uh, stuff here. So VIP guest. Oh my god. So many VIP guests. Let's get the money. Let's get the bits. Let's get the CCs. There we go. Everything is done. That's okay. Uh, hyena had all offspring. Awesome. That's good. So, um, we have got the three in. Is the uh, space still okay? No, it's not. Oh my god, look look at that. The space is just... Oh god. Well. 
That should be fine, right? <laughs> Let me check. Yay! This is... <laughs> that was super easy. Um, okay, the one thing we want to do before we leave this uh, unattended here... Uh, we need some donation boxes for the for the time being uh, because I I just want to make sure that we gather them the money as long as it's hot uh, because else um, we're gonna run into some trouble here gonna put a lot of these boxes in they won't be able to see much later because this is going to be as I said like a dark house and uh, yeah I'm, I'm trying to make sure that the people will have to go through a dark area and there will be some lights in that prevent a better look at them but most of it will be dark so yeah I'm hoping that this works okay let's now wait for the artwork to be delivered um, while we wait for it okay did I just block the way here Whatever. While we wait for it, I just want to see what kind of uh, you need a lot of plants, which is which is super great. Um, Asia tropical and temperate. That is awesome. Asia tropical and temperate. Um, and the artwork. I think it's not even that different, right? I'm just wanna. I'm just wanna see if if the, the space is sufficient for that one. Um, has been in the box too long. It can only be our tigers, right? Okay. Let's just let the, these two. Okay. So. Um, we need to see, yeah, tigers again for whatever reason. No one knows. Low welfare. Yeah, we are going to take that. Oh, God. Okay, space-wise, this is not working out the way I was hoping. That means um, we have to change a little bit the design of our house. But I feel like it's not the biggest deal. It, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Okay, we are going to do this. Um, we're going to delete basically this path element over here. Um, well, we have to... Well, we have to keep it for the moment, but uh, that shall be okay. I'm going to delete all of that and we're leaving, leaving it open as it is over here. Um, that should be fine. And I'm also going to change this here a little bit. So we're going to change the path to be very much all over here. Um, I Okay, we have to get rid of this bin first. All right. And then I'm going to... Oh my god. Yeah, well, that worked out like a charm, I guess. <laughs> it obviously didn't, but why is that not working? Hello. Okay, I have to then connect it this way. Okay, that's fine. That's fine to me. Um, then at least the bin can be... What about... Ha what's happening about the people? Okay, they are automatically beamed away, which is great. <laughs> uh, I wonder, though, if I can just squeeze a path through the middle here. And just keep the, but it will be very crowded. Hence, in the very certain middle part. So you know what I do? No, I'm I'm not I'm not going to do it that way. I am going to edit the barrier now. Animal has escaped. It hasn't. It's kind of because it's open now, right? Yeah. Don't worry about that, Rudy. Just don't worry about this. Okay. So we are getting this done. Um, however, I'm just willing to not have. Uh, okay. Whatever. Can we just, first of all, not have it that long? And then, okay, that's the next thing is that's being bended here. Um, I really want to make sure that this is like a journey that the people can take through this habitat here. Or these habitats, I should say. Um, and I feel like if we can deliver a layout that helps us doing this, um, that should be fine. Okay, so, nope. Just, uh, whatever. So can I, okay, let's go straight and do this and then... I'm just because I'm lazy, I'm going to delete that again and connect this. All right, that should be doing the job for the moment. Uh, we definitely need another gate, right? And I, I would love to have the gate at a different spot at the moment. Can I? I can have it here, right? And it can connect like this as well. That's good. Okay, let's connect it to this side. And now the question is... This could be like a second ex uh, entrance here. If I delete that, all of that over here. Oops, uh, nope, uh, I wanna keep it fairly easy like this. And then we are going to use this path over here, just like so. And we have the staff path over here. I feel like that's good. I feel like that's okay. And then we can, we can also open this up a little bit to make the, to make their happiness level a bit you know, even better than it already is. Uh, let's put it that way. Um, can I just, first of all, I have no clue why that worked. So I'm going to just try to bring that in here. 
around that corner and connect it. Okay, that looks still very ugly, but again, these are just helping us to, to understand where we want to build what and whatnot. We're not going to finish this in this episode. I'm planning to do this um, in a time-lapse mode again at the beginning of next episode, but uh, we're going to first of all try to make at least the uh, environment for them as nice as we can. And I also feel like that the, the overall size of the habitat now should be okay. Uh, now these animals should all not be um, escaped or counted as escaped anymore. Okay, so let's see. Size-wise, oh, we are getting closer. Um, I think how many square meters are missing? There's still a lot of square meters missing, right? Um, okay, we, we have to we have to even change this a bit more. Well, that's fine. I'm going to delete that and that, 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 this and this and this and this. Okay, so I'm going to just meander our way around here and then going to do it that way so we already won a whole bunch of uh, space now the question is if we build that night house we have to somehow uh, frame that house actually this this can be a bigger wall why not and then there is some yeah yeah, yeah. we will we will get this done okay anyways let's do it this way and then we are going to use the sharp corner over here to just gain even more space okay that's fine and if I'm not completely wrong, since we gained a bit more space over here, we can push all that in. Uh, and the best thing is to get just simply rid of it, I guess, because no one needs this area to be glass anymore. And then we could just easily, yeah, put that in here. I, hmm. I would love also to see that we can, uh, sorry. The thing is, I, I would also be able to love to be able to um, kind of create a guest door in between here, you know, and then the guests can kind of uh, work together. My other question is if those animals would be able to live together. Um, let me just see Zoopedia map. Okay, they are living in South Africa, which is uh, completely different to the Chinese pangolin, obviously. So they would never be living together. They're living kind of the same. Um, kind of climate if you will but not really I mean it, it's not it's not they're living completely completely next to each other or whatever so uh, yeah as I said they have somewhat the similar um, biomes while well, this is Africa but, and Sahara so they have it a bit warmer they have the donation bins already exactly in their habitat because they can I guess <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put these in here uh, but while we are waiting for our uh, Habitats to be nicer for them. We're going to just uh, first. Of all, wait a second. One thing I totally forgot is we have to put our our vet research already on the new animals. And gonna go, Gilbert uh, Schultz is going there. And um, hmm, we're researching all the new animals already. So we potentially would need a new vet at a certain point. Anyways, we are we're going to spend an eye on um, the nature now for those. If I remember correctly, it was Asia tropical and. Temperate, okay. So let's start with this one. Uh, this is going to be easy. Continent, Asia, and nope, uh, biome, tropical, and temperate. Here we go. So they are getting a lot of these plants um, to, to make this whole thing look nice. Oh, we have, first of all, we have to plan where we want to have the um, areas to look in. So one area definitely needs to be here. So we're going to put that in. I'm gonna make this a double-sided wall. Okay, so that's one side where we can have a look in. Then I want them to be able to watch this space over here. Uh, so I need to know exactly where I want to, oops, um, where I want to place nicer uh, foliage. So this area can then be where the, where the stuff is going in. It's not that visible for the guests, which is, which is, um, yeah, it has to be that way. Obviously, what did I build over here? This is kind of a mess, right? I could easily just... Um, can I... I would love to be able to connect this. Uh, hmm. Okay, I mean, I, I could just connect that and then... Yeah, well, that's it. <laughs> that's it, right? I mean, it could have been easier from, from the get-go. Okay, so same for these animals. I don't want them to be able to see them from the outside. So the artworks have a lot more uh, space to be... Have, happy ever after and this is why we're giving them the glass mainly over here so people have to watch this space they cannot really see where the stuff is coming in um, maybe we could give them something from the outside I don't know we will have to look into that later now 
Let's at least finish the artwork for a moment. This one is definitely too big. We don't really have the chance to put a big uh, tree in here because it's a night house and we, we want to make sure that this still looks uh, yeah, kind of okay-ish to them uh, from, from where they look at it. But at the same time, we want to make sure that the, um, they have enough privacy to live in and it just not... Wow, the, do we have also small, smaller bamboo? Uh, whoa, this is like still gigantic. Um, okay. Is there that one is a little bit smaller at least but all right we could put that here just to make sure that we have already one visual uh, disconnected piece from uh, the entrance I think that's that's fairly okay um, mm -hmm. coconut palm this is, this is fairly okay but they are way too big though to be used all over the place we're so gonna use a lot more of the bracken the bracken bracken is going to be in here quite a bit. Uh, I like this one. This one works too, but I'm. it's not really the, the nice look I wanted to go for. I want to make sure that this looks more like a lush area uh, where the people can also have a look into and it's it's not going to be completely crowded by plants. Usually I want to have a lot of plants in these areas. It's, it's not like I don't want to, but uh, I want to make sure that, you know, if people have a look in here, they, they kind of see that from a good standpoint and, and have a good context to what they see. Uh, this tree is like one of my all-time favorites in the game already without even being too long in the game. Um, yeah, I feel like this is exactly what I want in the middle. That's kind of the cool piece. The the one plant that we can have. So that's still the height we can go for with the whole area. That's nice. It has to be very high indeed. Um, and I want to make them also some kind of climbing rigs out of stone, uh, which is going to happen uh, in this in this video, uh, but it's maybe the last thing we do uh, before we go on because again uh, this will be more of a time-lapse thing and I, I promised you guys that I will do it more like this uh, that we are focusing more on Yeah building and and managing in in the real-time parts while we focus on more building as well It's not gonna be as intricate obviously as in my my Yosemite which it never can be uh, simply because uh, that would be absolutely enormous to have two projects of that size. I mean, I, I can barely follow up with one project, so... Uh, no, no nettles. No one needs nettles, no one likes them. Tell me those people who are like, I love that they have two kind of bamboo, to be honest. Fountain tam tampu? Bamboo? <laughs> what? Uh, okay, so, no, that one is better. Let's see, have they enough plants by now? Let me see. Are you happy with the plants? Oh yeah, 70% in, that is fine. Enrichment is not available yet. Uh, let's Okay, let's see what kind of enrichment they want. Uh, because that will make it a lot easier than to me to put the other stuff in. Uh, Chinese pangolin, there we go. And okay, so let's go to enrichment. They actually like these rubbing bots. Or rubbing pad, I should more call it more correctly. So I saw that happening, yeah. I really wonder one day I fix this because I have no flattened terrain on and it, but okay, it didn't It didn't flatten the terrain. That is, that is good, that's really good. Uh, we're gonna put the scent marker also, we hide that in here. I want them to go there. Um, the sprinkler is kind of something I like as well. We are using our ability to move that into the ground as well. Let's see if that's still working if I do it that way. Okay, it still manipulates the terrain, for whatever reason. I just told you to not. Uh, okay, still intensity too high. Okay, here we go. Uh, what was that? Terrain? Alright, that's, uh, oh, that's okay. That's okay. So I want to make this uh, a black sprinkler. Alright, that's it. Apply. Um, yeah, that's going to be the pink, this sprinkler. That's awesome. Habitat, okay. So they also like ball. Or they like this. I they need also like the forage box enrichment because that's the only food enrichment we have, we have for them, right? Yes. Now that's gonna be that's gonna be a hard thing to be placing. I have an idea where to put it. Okay, if I put it here, it will destroy the terrain. But I think, yeah, that's still the better idea to do it. Floating animals, because now we can use the terrain manipulation again to hide this away as best as we can and make this one with the environment around, which I'm a big fan of, um, because that looks a lot better instantly. Now, all the plants that are floating, 
I don't care too much about. We can we can still put them in uh, and, and make them part of the forage box because I, I feel like this is also way more realistic in comparison to having this this weird big box. Let them just poop. They made it to the ground. Um, awesome. Let's just move this stuff over as well. I just don't want to have that sticking through the wall. Great. Okay, so that is basically it. Uh, how we will have this looking. Uh, that's kind of cool though. What we de do need to give them first before we go on is obviously um, food and um, more. So food, of first of all, we're gonna give them food. Now this is this is kind of forage area over here. This is the rubbing pad. So we have these animals come to where they get their stuff. I want to have the food really close by. Um, yeah, let's put it here. That's gonna gonna be where we put this. Uh, the, can we? I would love to put that in the middle here. I would love to be able to put it there. Okay, so let's see. We have a water bowl here, and we kind of want a, a small food bowl goes well over here, and we're gonna put this thing hopefully somewhere that it does not float in. Oh God, it's it's a very 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 tight habitat here. So let's see if we can. Oh yeah, that's that's working. Oh, that's good. So we, we hide that a little bit in here. Good, 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 good. Okay, let's let's see. Are they good climbers though? Do they like to climb? Because I I want to see what what is kind of the traversable area for them. That looks fairly okay to me. That looks fairly okay to me. They seem to be pretty decent in in terms of climbing. That is good. That's good. Okay. So now let's uh, deselect all the. All the filters we have because now it's all about the stones i'm gonna use these yeah these um more desert looking stuff i'm no i'm i think i'm gonna go with these ones yeah i want to see if they can if they can climb on them uh because i want i would love to give them a bit of a ah uh, yeah just not not parkour if you will but i, I just want to see if them uh, they they can just run across that i would love to see this and then also give them like a chill area which is a bit higher up so let's see what happens if we are going to present them some stuff like that and then let's use this piece with the flat area on top obviously here we go that's that's it okay and then we're gonna give it uh okay uh, it's too big but this is somewhat fitting and we're gonna rotate it a bit I would love to see them going up here uh, and we can also just move the plants a little bit so they're not sticking too much out so here's here's that's that's kind of better uh, so if they can just run high up here okay let's see I just want to see if they if they will be able um, well the tree might not be able to but um, okay so they should have recalculated this I uh, they can well, they can go until over here, and I, I believe they could go there as well, but it almost seems like that the the stone I offered them is not suitable enough. Okay, let's let's get rid of these things, and maybe do the same with this piece over here. That could be that could be the thing. That could be the solution. I mean, I, I would be fine with this too. Um, okay, here we go. See if it's ah yeah. See that what that works. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. I do obviously want to give them the scent enrichment as well and put that here. I definitely want them to go up on this thing. And now uh, the last thing we haven't given them yet, obviously, enough is uh, sleep. And we're going to take the small bedding. I'm going to put this on top here. So I want them to, to lie on, on this stone here. Why not? This is... Can I actually... I could even hide this in here, right? I could just go and do it even like so and they should still go there and and go for a sleep right that would be that would be pretty amazing with the sand enrichment there we have food down there uh the only thing we don't have is is kind of a, a realistic thing that holds off that one okay let's let's quickly uh do this as well uh it shall be done with a smaller rock piece it just has to connect right okay maybe i'm gonna use that piece yeah Ah, I love that one. Okay, cool. So this has been done. Now, um, just to give you the context of, of how this all will look. Uh, first of all, we're gonna select the whole barrier here. And we're going to move it until it is like two, 240 is kind of the, the height of the ceiling in a normal area, I guess. So this is going to be that way. 
And this is double sided if I'm not correct, uh, mistaken here. It is. All right, cool. Let's just do that over here. Uh, we copy it over to the other side. Okay. And we can do the same over here. And copy this over. Gonna put the. Uh, where is that? Where is the education board? So it's gonna be a quite long episode for you guys to enjoy. Um, I hope you guys are happy with it um, because the time lapsed matched with the. Uh, yeah, basically with this build over here in real time is hopefully going to be interesting for you uh, and also uh, long enough to enjoy it. Oh, I like how this kind of turned out to be looking because it is just sticking in between. Uh, what would, you know, it would be awesome to just move this ever so much that it... Look at that. That looks, that looks good to me. And we do the same over here. Huh. Yeah, well, that's fine. That's fine. I like it. Uh, I really like that. So if I, the only thing I don't like is is how how unsmooth this looks over here. So either way, we are going to smooth this out, which is just not nah, well. It does not really work perfectly fine. That means we need uh, some more stones to uh, give it a bit of context here. Let me just let me just use this one to yeah, just at least give this a bit of context, and then we can move it in here as well and like so that looks good to me good okay so but since this is obviously a night house and it's not gonna look this way for the whole time we are giving it more context now by yeah using using the rocks uh occasionally and also later on a lot more to build really a, a really good habitat border here so i'm not i'm not going with the um, normal stuff all the way. I'm really going this way over here. So using using stones to yeah cover this all up and uh, yeah. Well, at, in this case over here, uh, I'm fine with the bamboo being sticking out a little bit. Um, I'm I'm just not fine to okay that still works. That's awesome. Uh, I'm just not fine with uh, blocking any any things that the animals do need. So this is why I'm just trying to move this uh, always very carefully in here. Uh, if I copy that around, I, I would love to use it a bit more this way. Uh, as I said, I, I just don't want, want to make it uh, too much of a space killer, if you will, because if you use it too crazy and all of the space, um, it'll definitely not look good uh, because it, it kind of takes away too much of the space of the animal. So, yeah, you want to use it carefully enough to uh, use it as a border. I really hope that it does work and I also don't want to overuse one piece the whole time. I'm just trying my best now to use some of the pieces to my favor. Uh, some of them are easier to manipulate uh, than others. So for example, this one over here is always a, a very welcome and easy piece to use uh, because it, it's very um, easy to rotate. It's very flat. You can you can do different shapes with it. It's uh, yeah, I, I definitely need to pull off the screen a bit because uh, that makes the whole thing a bit more easy to be used with this one. So in this corner over here, for example, I'd like to have this big boy, uh, if that even fits. Again, as I said, I really hope that it's not taking too much of the uh, habitat. It, it certainly would. So we're going to, to take the smaller one here. And it definitely goes too much into the guest area. They will definitely clip through. Uh, we will have to prevent that. Well. Okay, well, it also does take away too much from the screen. Now it works. Uh, the door should be still okay to, to come in. Um, we definitely have to work our well in to put a bin here. Gonna use this bin as basically, let's see if they, they go around now, right? Yeah, they will definitely go around. Okay, so that's good. We have no keepers assigned. I know we will do this at a later stage, but I just wanted to make sure that this looks okay to me. Now, why am I even always clicking the wrong area here? Okay, so let's see. We, we can also use some of the different rocks here just to kind of create a facade from, from the outside. You know, it's, it's always a thing to be used as well. Uh, you don't always have to use the same rocks. Uh, I basically use most of the same rocks all of the times because they are easy to manipulate and they're just the right size and, and you know, uh, I find that easy enough, but sometimes it also makes sense to vary your selection. Um, and you can most likely always just move them into the ground as much as you want uh, to make it really uh, easy enough to have these things. Okay, wait, uh, that makes no sense to me because I will certainly have a bit more 
area later on covered up so that's basically already it so you see that's that's the that's the main setup we still have this corner over here not not fixed enough um which is going to work out hello there we go uh, this way and you can as i said always vary your pieces a bit so that's basically it already i just wanna okay this one seems fine to me to yeah so we we create a nice rock face here um yeah, from, from over there you don't need anything. This is nicely hidden in the back anyways. Okay, that's cool. That's very cool. Now, I feel like this has to be lowered down a little bit to make sure where we have the the top, which um, okay, which which I'm going to try and, and start doing now with this piece. Uh, I know it might be, it might look a bit too repetitive at the beginning, but we need to make sure that this works out as the perfect roofing. Um, gonna gonna do it this way. And also use several angles. I feel like I need to do a building out of that first because that will help me help me build this a bit easier. So here we go. Go back to nature and then I'm also going to use this bigger platform piece here as well because then we can get in a bit of a dome like look if you will uh, because that's going to lower down here quite a bit so I, I wanna I wanna get this in I don't want to make this building higher to what it needs to be um, it, it's just not not necessary so I am willing to always uh, maximize uh, the space we have and in this case we don't need to be lower than that you know and yeah therefore I'm just going to move that in as well so here you go like from 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 above it doesn't really look, need to look any nice because we we only need to make it look nice from the inside and again talking about the artworks we might even be able to just use some of the bigger rocks here because technically it doesn't really matter what we do we just uh, create a nice rock face for them already and I have no idea which kind of plants they will use. We will see that in the next episode. Um, or maybe in the time lapse, which again, I have no idea what I will do. Maybe time lapse, maybe next episode. My tendency is to do it in a time lapse though, but um, you never know. You never know. Maybe I do something else, but yeah. So this is this is kind of the idea. Um, it's, it's also fine. Maybe we just need to raise it a little bit. So just to make sure, okay, we can still move that in. So, see, that, that's kind of what I meant. It doesn't really matter too much if you have them lowered a little bit more than it already shouldn't. Um, simply because this is going to be a narrow area anyways. You're just watching inside here. Yeah, it's, it's totally fine. It's totally fine. I'm going to carry only over these two here to this side because of the, uh, the ginormous bamboo over there. Uh, we're going to use these to cover up the back. I'm gonna manipulate oops, that one over here in a way we can s just sweep that into this corner. Awesome. And I'm going to use that piece on top here. We're gonna make this building quite, quite high. This will be the main building uh, when you come into the zoo. Uh, and I'm going to try to make this side uh, a little, little bit uh, flatter so that the, the main build will be here. So we have the chance to use some higher plants uh, in here as well. Uh, in the middle part, so that should be the idea we should follow. And therefore, we can also use these pieces over here, over here, and just all the way around. And the height of the the ceiling for the for the guests will also be a bit differing uh, from what we have over here because they will get some proper roofs to make sure that this is kind of a, a kind of nicely finished off area. So once I have stuff like that in. Uh, which uh, is the best thing you can do with those things, uh, with those uh, kind of uh, glass fronts, if you will, because this will help to make it look even more integrated into the area. But then I want to use normal, normal kind of ceiling in here to make it look uh, as if it kind of is part of it. So not not really uh, trying to to move and and uh, use different pieces um, from the rocks because it makes. It makes it all look so boring after a while if you only used rocks, you know. For what I'm creating right now, it's totally fine. But in general, it, it looks super boring. Um, all right, so we have done this. I wonder if we... Okay, this is not in the building, so I cannot use it. But I'm 
pulling that up. Okay, so this is uh, already more or less the setup of this habitat. It's one of the more nicely styled habitats of obviously what we've done so far. Uh, it is it's going to be a wonderful one for the Chinese pangolin. Um, I almost thought we can... You see that? What does the... It's kind of rendering distance and LOD changes. I like that. Um, but yeah, so that's it, guys. Um, we, we do have the Chinese pangolin uh, habitat done, more or less, I guess. Um, it's, it's looking good. It's looking really, really damn good, guys. I wasn't expecting that. If this little dude can just come a bit closer to the wall, we can also snap a nice screenshot. Anyways, guys, I really hope you did enjoy this one. Uh, I am going to make a break here and I'm going to continue in the next episode. But this is going to be our night house with some snakes as well and some little uh, stuff <laughs> that we will have uh, crawling around. Uh, but anyways, this is, this is also needed in a zoo. And yeah, we are making our way through uh, the refurbishment of the Ruhr Zoo. We're going to rip apart this whole area as well. This will also happen in a time lapse. But yeah, I think it's very funny to see and, and also fun to see how this has happened. Now, enjoy your day, have a good time and see you next time, guys. Bye, 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 bye and see you. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching this video, I really do appreciate that. As always, uh, make sure to check out also my social media channels, you can find me everywhere under at RudyRandCamel. Also, big thanks to the crew, uh, you can see it on the left hand side right now. And as always, if you want to see more, you click that card on the top right. And if you want to stick around because you like the stuff you've just saw, you just saw, whatever, you know what I mean, just uh, click that sub button which is to the bottom right of the screen right now. But everything else I can say is have a great time and see you next time. Bye guys.